The Ford Ranger was built tough, but which of its variants is your best bet for a do-it-all pickup? Which variant of the Ford Ranger is the ultimate do-it-all pickup? Everybody has their own opinion about that, but I wanted to be sure. So today, I'll be putting three Ranger variants through some challenges to find out which one is the top of the pile. First up, the Wildtrak 4x4. This is the top of the line Ranger. Let's see what I have to do. First of all, why would anyone park like this? <sighs> oh, no wonder, this is the challenge. Let's see what the Wildtrak has to help me out. You know, parking in Manila can be a problem even with a normal sedan, so salute to all the pickup owners who manage. If this wild track didn't have all these aids, I'd probably be going down and checking the back, getting into move an inch, then checking the front, then moving again and again. Imagine how difficult that is. Then imagine if it were rainy. Yeah, no thanks. You know how some old school drivers judge people who rely on technology? Don't be like that, guys. Progress is good and I'm free. Don't get me wrong, drivers should definitely learn the basics like parallel parking. But once you do, don't let the old heads make you feel insecure about your skills. There's absolutely no shame in getting some help from technology. I'm free! But here's the second challenge already. Load a family's worth of stuff into the Ranger. This should be easy. So I've just been told that I need to leave room for passengers, like a family. Back to square one. To be honest, I'm the kind of guy who's a bit apprehensive about leaving things in the back of an open pickup. Ah <laughs> yes, the wild track has power roller shutter. That makes me feel better. Challenge done, and hello FX4 Max. My next challenge is to get to my destination on time. But because I had to load bags twice, 2.0 bi-turbo diesel with a 10 speed. I don't think anyone's gonna complain about how fast this truck can go. Even uphill, we just keep going and going. That's 500 newton meters of torque for ya. Since this is an easy challenge thanks to that engine, let's talk about this thing in front of me. This is an auxiliary switch pack and you can wrap the controls of any aftermarket mods you put through here. They even upgraded the alternator to match. So I can walk into any off-road mod shop and ask for their biggest winch, their biggest air compressor, their biggest light rack, pretty much their biggest everything. The other parts also look good in a rugged mod truck way. No time to slow down over these. The Fox shocks are going to have to do some work. Don't try this at home. Or if you aren't in an FX4 Max maybe. And we're here on time. This is it, the Ford Ranger Raptor. Something that rivals sports cars as a young man's dream car nowadays. You have to drive one of these things. The challenge, make it to the end of the off-road course without smiling. Why, are there gonna be jokes along the way? I've been driving all 4x4 Rangers so far, but the Raptor does things a bit differently. Namely, it wants to go 4x4-ing fast. That's what Baja mode is for. 2.5 inch racing shocks, 80 tires, that macho bash plate out front. Out of the box, you can probably drive this on the moon. <laughs> Wait, did I just lose the challenge? So, mission failed. I don't feel bad about it at all. <laughs> ah, there's a reason everybody wants a Raptor. And you just saw it. All right, guys, I failed one challenge. But since I'm the only one here at the finish line, let's call it a win, eh? 
So, which is the ultimate ranger? The Wild Track has all the modern conveniences you can ask for, not just from a pickup, but from a vehicle in general. I think I'd still be in that parking slot if not for its tech. And because I was able to fill it up with cargo, it's proven that it can also be a family car. It definitely has the space and power to handle the job. On the other hand, the FX4 Max is rugged. It has these macho bits and pieces that make you want to build it up even more. You already have that powerful engine, so you start thinking about what else to put on it to plug into that switchback. Finally, the Raptor. It's a race car that goes off-road. Baja mode was inspired by the desert, but it can definitely handle anything we throw at it here in the tropics. Super Truck is right because it makes you feel like a hero while driving. The comfortable interiors, the sedan-like ergonomics, the feeling that I can drive it through a house and come out in one piece. That tough energy you expect from a pickup, it's always all there. You know what? I'd take all three. I'd love three Rangers in my garage. I'd need a bigger garage though.